What do you think is a good mediator? I sometimes think that that mediators are, are, are perhaps not sort of unique race yes. as, as such. I very often think that if, if you are a good manager mm -hmm. of whatever you do, mm -hmm. whether it's within the government or private sector, mm -hmm. how do you encourage your, your, your staff to come up with the best they can produce? How can you give them difficult tasks that they, they have to really work hard Mm -hmm. and get them the feeling of success. How do you treat people in general? I think these are rather common features mm -hmm. that I see in many professions and, and that's why I believe that mediators can come from different walks of life and their background can be different. Then it's a question of techniques mm -hmm. which, which it's very useful that, that, that they are more systematically thought and, and also that there's more academic research. That's why I think it's important that somebody registers the outcome of negotiations, as we did in, in, in I'd say, mm -hmm. I don't need to do, or my colleagues who were in mm -hmm. the process, it's better to have an outsider with mm -hmm. whom we work. Uh, impartiality is, I'm, I'm a bit sensitive to that word because I would perhaps say that we have to be an honest broker. Uh, when, when we mediate. So when people come to me, they know that I'm, I'm supposed to be a man of integrity. I have shown it in my different tasks. I'm not waived by anybody, any outside force. And, and in the beginning, particularly, it was important that I was on the leave of absence from my own government. So I could always, if I didn't like what was going on, I said, come on. I'll go home, I'll, I'll, I'll have mm -hmm. a job. And it's much better that your life is not dependent on the work you are doing. Mediator's qualities are, I said, an honest broker uh, and, and somebody who has integrity, who sometimes have to be very harsh on both parties. You have to convince somebody that, that this you have to do if we want the process to go forward and then tell the other side that you also have to do this from your side, because otherwise perhaps stop some practices that are going on in the country or agree of, of very difficult decisions. You can't be neutral either. No. If somebody, for instance, in negotiations misbehave, you have to tell it to mm -hmm. them. The parties have to get a feeling that both are tre treated in, in, in a fair manner. Sometimes in, in, in not unpolitely, mm -hmm. but firmly. Mm -hmm. Is this something that could be described as all partial as well? That you actually have an interest that both parties succeed in the negotiations? Yes. So you're trying to manage both of them in a sense? Yes, you are actually like you would be a good advisor for both. Right, okay. Interesting. Or confidant of both, mm -hmm. which is never easy because sometimes in, in a long process you are disliked by one and then the other and then both. Right. So you shouldn't be surprised if that, that happens, but because you have had to insist on things that the parties don't particularly like. But with the time they realize that yes, he is or she is right in insisting, because otherwise we can't solve the problem. You can't entirely leave it to the parties. Uh, I have perhaps, a, I'm personally a bit interventionist, as, as you know me, that I think the mediator must have some sort of idea where he or she is trying to guide the process. But of course the mediator's role is, is, is very much like that of a mid midwife, that uh, you, you, are, you have not caused the pregnancy and, and, and you don't own the, own the child. It's theirs. It's the parents. The parents in this case are, are the ones who are trying to mediate peace. And, and then you also have to realize that midwife's role ends, but uh, you still may need the advisory services from, from medical faculty even when a child is growing up. Mm -hmm. 
but you have to realize that it's it's theirs and the success that is theirs they should be enjoying that we did it and and so i would also say that the mediator's ego should not come on the way if we think that we are most important then we are in the wrong business it's very interesting that to use this analogy of the midwife because mm. obviously um, when you say the mediator kind of needs to know what he wants right from the beginning or at least you know that um, um, now the midwife obviously doesn't know um, whether um, it's going to be a boy or a girl um, but now, nowadays more and more <laughs> <laughs> if the parents want to know but okay but, but, it, but it might not be what out. she wants she will, <laughs> <laughs> he or she will find out. Right, okay. But you as a mediator um, sometimes have something in mind, right, before starting a mediation. Is that correct? No, I, <coughs> I think what is uh, perhaps a common feature with the midwife and mediator yes. is that we both want to have a healthy baby to be born. Right. I'm sure that there's a lot of people uh, who would like to know what the Atisari brand is. I tend to say that it doesn't do any harm that you come from a democratic society, first of all. Yes. Secondly, that you come from a fairly small country, because you are less threatening to, to the parties. Uh, but you also have to recognize that if you accept this as a background, that you can't do it alone. You need also sometimes the most important actors that who can influence most for the positive outcome of a conflict. And uh, so, so don't think that you, you have answers for everything and you can do without this sort of support. And also a sparring partners in the sense that you can, you can go through some of the ideas with them. Then you also have to inform others who are not perhaps in this core group, like in Kosovo we had a contact group. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm aware, perhaps because I come from a small country, there, there's a sort of realism involved, that you need some of the major actors. And if you can't have their support, I would not even start a mediation exercise if I think that I don't have all those involved, not necessarily 100% behind the, the, the outcome, but, but those who are prepared to be in a, I would call it a, a contact group. Uh, perhaps also you have to be able to say difficult things in a, in a rather pleasant manner. The best compliment I ever got was from, from an Eritrean. He said, look, I would like to work half a year with you so that I would learn how to say difficult things in a nice manner. I thought it was the best compliment I ever received because you had to open difficult issues that my host didn't want to hear. But I had to try to say it in such a manner that they realized that I had to raise them. But I, I think in life in general I have come to the conclusion that personalities do matter. I want to give everyone a sort of message that it's how you handle these issues, uh, whether, whether you have that credibility. But also, I, I think that the system should be such that we can, we can also give younger people a chance. Uh, I, I would happily retire <laughs> now <laughs> and, and, and be in my mentoring role, which I try to be. And I, I know that younger ones are coming there in my country and elsewhere. We have to be courageous enough to, to, to give them a chance. Mm -hmm. Because we have a much more professional cadre of mediators coming. We, we are a little bit like artists, my generation. <laughs> but I, I, I think it's a bit unfair. Well, we should be told that you should be more professional in analyzing your, your own work. Mati, as a last message, you've always been saying that every conflict can be solved. Obviously, when people hear that, sometimes they are wondering what you mean by that. So when you say every conflict can be solved, what are you saying? I say exactly what I said. 